this tank right here is housing some of the most rare fish that I've ever seen. Some fish I've never seen before. Endangered. Yes. They do have freshwater and saltwater at this shop. You can see their corals. We may be the very first to ever have footage of the Sakura Parva fish. That's how rare this fish is. We're here at our second location. Kenneth, what's the name yep. of this place? Okay, so this place is called Iwana Aqua Farm. So they are like one of the largest import and export for saltwater ornamental fish. So there's a lot to see over here. We have corals, we have rare fish. You guys will see like gem tanks, clown angels. Ready, John? You're gonna see some really rare stuff here. How are they able to keep all these tanks out of here with this extreme heat? I'm literally <laughs> sweating. Okay, so everything you see over here, right, actually runs with chillers. So most of the tanks they have chillers. See over here? Wow. There. They do still have to pay for the entire area here, but because this is a farm area, it costs actually a lot cheaper. So this is why you're able to run more things at a lower cost. So they have fresh water and salt water here. Yep, they have plants over here, there's fish over here. I What's got... up, man? Wow, nice. I love your videos. Which man. one were you watching? The one with, what was that? The black market one? Yeah. Oh. Piranhas. <laughs> yeah, that one. This tank right here is housing some of the most rare fish that I've ever seen. Some fish I've never seen before. Okay, this tank is actually like their owner's dream tank. So this is like a full SPS, LPS. It's more like a mixed reef tank. Aside from the corals, right, this tank here houses a lot of very rare and hard to come by fishes. We'll try to spot a few for you guys. So this guy is a Claron Angel. He is a Scythes 2 animal. What does that mean? So these guys are very rare, very endangered out in the wild. Endangered? Yes. So these guys are very endangered. Kenneth, how much does that fish sell for? Okay, so in Singapore prices, right, it's about you can get it about three to four thousand. Three to four thousand dollars for that for fish. Would they actually sell it to me for three, four thousand? Will you sell it to him for three, four thousand? Four thousand five? Four thousand five. Okay. There's a very rare fairy rest. This what? is one fairy rest that every reefer will die for. What, yeah. what is this one? That is a Mauritius jewel leopard. The leopard rest family, right? The Mauritius jewel is like the top three rest to get. The three of the hardest leopard rest to keep your Mauritius jewel, your KOT from Australia, and then there is the vegan's rest also comes from the Madagascar area. So a Sakura Pava, this is also my first time seeing this, and this is by far the, the only live specimen that I've seen before as well. And it's only been featured once on Reef Builders. So for the next five, ten years down the road, right, this may be the only specimen that you will see. So all right, so Ken's saying that we may be the very first Americans to ever have footage of the Sakura Parva fish. That's how rare this fish is. Where does the Sakura Parva come from? Yeah, Philippine near Indonesia. For the Sakura Parva, I based on the Reef Builder website by Dick Adams on 2017. So this is actually the picture and film alive for the first time. So George, this film over here could be the second time that they actually get to see a live specimen of a Sakura Parva in captivity. The reason that this fish looks so shy is because they're actually found in really deep waters. Ken said about 100 feet down. And that's part of the reason why they're so rare. Why they have that insanely high price tag is because for someone to catch these, it's kind of a miracle in itself for them to be that far down in the water and to be able to catch one, it's dangerous. And so people risk their lives trying to catch this fish. That's why it costs $5,000. Tevin here is about to feed all the fish in this ultra rare tank. What do you think is the net worth of this entire tank? Five digits. Five digits? Yes, yes. five digits, yes. <laughs> Mid range, maybe 50K? That's nuts. I want this fish so badly. I want to name him Banana. He's so cool. Yellow. I've never seen that before. They are scorpion fishes, so they are very close to the frog fish. Basically what it does, right, they have like different colors. There's more orange, more yellow. There's even a purple one, a red one. This tank right here looks like it's straight out of Dr. Seuss. Look at these. These are little cocoa worms, little feather dusters. Look at this. This is a scorpion fish. And I really wish I could buy this fish and name him Banana. So he's literally probably one of the most yellow, yellow fishes I've ever seen. So guys, in this room, you're about to freak out. This is where they keep all their best coral and some of their best fish. So this is one of the little rooms here where they keep more of the exquisite, more rare stuff of corals in here. Guys, massive colonies. We have like a lot of ricks here, then there's like Aikens colony. These are all Aikens. How much does one of these pieces sell for? 400 to 500? 400 to 500 dollars. Yeah. Singaporean yes. dollars. Or
tank, so you skip this tank as well, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, so he skipped this tank. All the Zoro collections that you see here, right, actually is his collection. So wow. Good job, man. Yeah, thank you. you caught them all. <laughs> you definitely caught them all. In this tank, we also have some really rare fish. We have the orange spotted bile fish. You can get those really easily, but they're actually very hard to keep alive because it takes time to train them to eat frozen food. A lot of people have a tricky time having those. Those look really healthy. And then we also have the white bonnet clownfish. And I guess those you don't see very often either. Those are quite rare. Those are from Australia. Yes, Here is where they actually keep all of their Zoro collections. So you have to see rows and rows and rows of Zoros. There's quite a lot of different different types over here. You have from classic Zoros, you have like the scramble egg, yeah, all the way to the eagle eye, the emerald fire, red death, nickel death, purple death up there. There are Zoro collectors here. So then they also have one very very rare scully. This scully right yeah, here. So if I'm not wrong, this guy is going for like 2000. In this room, we got a bunch of coral tank. We got coral tank right here. Coral tank, coral tank. Then we move into this secondary room. You have another crazy coral tank. Two more coral tanks right here. But then you move into this final third room. And what's going on in here, Kenneth? Okay, so this last room here, right, is where they house all of their very expensive and very rare fishes. So George, you see over here, right, they have like rows and rows and rows of gem tanks. Gem tank, gem tank. Jump tank, jump tank. What is this guy? Okay, so this is a bit special. So the difference between this coral beauty and the normal coral beauty right, is throughout the whole body, they actually have this tiger stripe all the way. So if you see right at his tail, it's a bit more bluish compared to a normal coral beauty. And the striping goes all the way down to the coral fin. You know how to tell scribble inches apart? No. Male, female? I don't. So scribble inches are very interesting when they have this marking over them, right? This is they are called scribble angel due to this body patterns they have. The mm -hmm. little scribble mark. So only the males have that, that scribble thing going on. But if you see a female scribble angel, right, it's actually completely black. Oh. Yeah, it's See the difference? Like this guy over here that's more black. That's a beautiful yeah. Well, you compare with a, a larger male. What are these fish? These guys are the Nana Holy Grills of Holy Grills. They are Jake Adams' favorite, the Tiger Angel. The Tiger Angel? Yeah, so there's like Oh, dude. Them. How much does the Tiger Angel go um, for? About 2005, 2000. That's a $2,000 fish right there? Yeah. Moving on out here, this is where they keep their planted tank. You guys thought, hey, their saltwater stuff is amazing. Maybe their planted stuff wouldn't be so good. No, nope, we're wrong. Amazing. Look at this. In this section over here, they got four or five massive planted tanks. They're all very different from each other. They don't have a lot of fish now, they clearly really love these planted scapes. I think my favorite though is this one. This one, they got like a bonsai tree in the back there. These rocks with the moss on them. This stuff down here, so, so pretty. Every single one of these tanks has like a slightly different style, different plants. Look at these, they're completely covering all the driftwood in there. Look at this piece of driftwood. That's one of the cooler pieces of driftwood. Look how perfectly clear these aquariums are. The water, I thought it would be like foggy since we're outside. A lot of you, including me, if we ever had tanks that looked this nice, we certainly wouldn't keep them outside. So over here, it's what, just like a plant farm? Basically, they have these four big acres of land where these guys actually live over here. Yeah, so they stay in this area here, they have their fishes here, their plants here, they grow everything here. They live they, here? Yeah, yeah they live it's here. It's like a little village yeah. of aquarium. Yeah, so you get this yeah. way they eat, this way they live. Look, it's literally like fields of Monte Carlo and, and really expensive plants right there that go for like eight bucks each in the States. Every weekend, this is the place that I'll be with these guys just talking about fish, talking about corals. This is where you hang out. When you buy your plants at aquariumcoop.com, this is where they come from. <laughs> that used to be a play coral. The size of my head.
went out and had lunch with Ken. This was gonna be our final time hanging out with him after he showed us multiple fish stores and obviously the Singapore Aquarium. If you haven't seen those videos, go watch them. He showed us some really cool stuff and we're super thankful. So if you want to check out his YouTube channel, I'll leave the link in my description below. Here we are drinking some Thailand teas. He made us try these and they were very, very good. I actually wish I had one like right now. Um, also guys, before I go, I want to thank you for 500,000 subscribers for reaching this. I wanted to do something for all my OG fans out there. I really appreciate those of you who have been watching. I'm releasing this 500k t-shirt. It's an exclusive piece of merch. I'm only making 500 of these. So this is going to be a one-time thing. And if you want one, please go buy it right away because if you've been a fan for a while, you know I don't come out with a lot of merch. I've had so many people requesting for them and I know they're going to sell out in a couple days. If you want one, go get it right away. Do not wait. The link to the t-shirt is down in my description. Thank you guys for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Obviously, you guys know I put everything back into this channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George.